that's going to be bright for our night hike. That's going to be awesome. Hey, welcome back to Camp Read A Lot. I'm Mrs. Hammock, and I am so excited you're here at camp. Ah, isn't camp fun, right? Camp is such a fun time of learning. And here at Camp Read A Lot, we're going to spend our days reading and talking about stories, singing, learning, and enjoying all kinds of activities that will help us be together and to become super strong readers because we love books. I'm so excited that you're here today. Parents, did you know that you can practice rhyming games and play rhyming games at home with your kids to help them grow a strong reading brain? You can sing rhyming songs, you can read rhyming books, or just play some rhyming riddles. Those are things you can do while you're cooking dinner or riding in the car. They don't even really require any materials, just your good brain and some fun. I hope you'll practice this summer with your kids. Hello readers, hello writers, hello campers, I'm glad you're here today. Hello readers, hello writers, hello campers, I'm glad you're here today. Are you ready to do our Camp Read A Lot pledge? All right, let's get ready. Remember, I'll say it first and you repeat. Here we go. On my honor, I will try my best to be kind to everyone. Have a smile on my face and a song in my heart. Nicely done. All right, campers. <sighs> Have you seen that rascally squirrel? It's time for us to practice training our ears for sound. And as usual, I can't find Scooter. I've looked everywhere. I looked over here at the craft table. I looked behind the pine trees. I checked at the campfire. I cannot, I went down to the fishing hole. I don't see him there. <sighs> that guy, can you see him? Do you know where he is? Oh, wait, he, that's right. He was up really late last night because he wanted to sit by the fire and eat s'mores all night long. I bet he's still sleeping. We better go take a look. Scooter, what are you doing? You have to get up. The boys and girls and all of our camping friends are here today and you need to get, uh, you need to get out of that bed right now. That's, oh, Yes, that's what happens when you eat too much sugar before bed. We we have a job to do. Look. Oh, see, they're here and they're ready. Do you have a game for us? You do? Okay, what are we doing today? <gasps> Segmenting. Great idea. That's the game where we tell you a word and then you break it apart sound by sound. Are you ready to give it a try? Okay, who are you waving at? Oh, come on, let's get busy. All right, okay, let's see what we've got going on here. Your acorn is kind of a problem. Do you carry that everywhere you go? I think you need to leave that behind sometimes. All right, here we go. Are you ready? What's, okay, do you have the first word? Oh, that's a great one. Ready? I'm going to tell you the word, you break it apart. Now, when you break it apart, I will put up an acorn for each sound that you tell us. Okay, here we go. Key. Key. Can you segment the word key? All right, what, what do you think? What is it? What do you do? Louder. Oh, good for you. K is the beginning sound. Good job. All right, what do you hear next? E, good job. Two sounds makes the word key. Very nice. Good work. All right, do you have another one? 
What? I think you're just hungry for breakfast. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right, here we go. Ready? Egg. Egg. That's kind of a tricky one. Are you sure it's really? Okay, it's really early in the morning for egg. Oh, I know. All right, egg. What do you hear first? Eh, eh. There we go. Eh. And the next sound you hear? G. Egg. Egg. Only two sounds. Isn't that great? Okay, last one. Are you ready? Mm, okay, that's a little trickier. Knee. Knee. Okay, let's try it. Mm. What's next? What do you hear next? Mm. E. Knee. Good job. We had k, e, key. We had e, g, egg. And we had n, e, knee. Oh, great job. What? No, not right now. No more s'mores. We don't have s'mores for breakfast. That would be silly. Besides that, you're going to get a tummy ache if you eat too much candy and s snacks in the morning. I have a joke for you. It will take your mind off of your tummy. Are you ready? Okay. What is the smartest insect? Hmm. Do you know? What is the smartest insect? You don't know? A spelling bee! Ha ha ha! Oh, that's a good one! <laughs> a spelling bee, get it? A bee is an insect and he's smart because he knows how to spell words? Oh, no, you didn't like that one. Well, I have another one for later. I'm saving it, especially for you. And I'm going to tell you, it's one of my favorite jokes. I think it's so good. Are you ready to get ready? go to our catch of the day and see what we have today. Yeah, what? You, what do you mean you read the story already? You're not supposed to read the story already. Oh, you liked it? Will the boys will our boys and girls and our all of the rest of our campers like it? He says yes. Okay. All right, you ready to sit in your quiet spot? Okay, let's go. Down you go, right into your spot. All right, friends. Our catch of the day. These are our words that we're going to hear in our story. So let's take a look and see what we have. We have com, oof, this is a huge word. Compliment, compliment, compliment. When you give someone a compliment, you're telling them words of respect and appreciation. So if you give someone a compliment, you're telling them that you think something nice about them. Isn't that awesome? Has anyone ever given you a compliment? Hmm. All right, let's see. Let's look at this one. Ooh, this one says donate, donate. Now, donate is to give away something for a good cause. Like maybe you've outgrown your shoes or your shorts or your shirt and you donate it to Goodwill or somewhere where other people who might need it can, can have it. Or maybe you have too many toys and you pick out some of the ones that you'd like to donate. That's very, very generous and kind. All right, and another word we have is respect. Respect. It means to act politely and use good manners. So when you treat somebody with respect, it means you're being polite and you're having good manners. I know that you guys do that all the time. All right, today I have a great story to share with you. Some of you may have heard a story similar to this. This story, let me get my eyes so I can help my eyes with my reading tools, my glasses. This story is called Bucket Filling. 
from A to Z, the key to being happy. Hmm, the key to being happy. The author wants us to see bucket filling as something that leads to happiness. Let's read and find out what that means. Look, they're put, what do you see here? They, there's some kids, right? They're putting alphabet letters in buckets. So you mean if I go around and take my buckets around and put stuff in them, that's going to lead to happiness? Do you think that's what the author's talking about? I'm not sure. So on the front cover of the book, we have the title. The back cover tells us a little more about the story. And the title page tells us that this story is written by Carol McLeod and Karen Buzki, and it's illustrated by Glenn Zimmer. Let's get into our story and see what this bucket filling is all about. All around the whole wide world in every city and town, you'll find happy boys and girls if you only look around. Hey, did you hear some rhyming words? Town and around. Good job. They are called bucket fillers. They fill buckets every day with the, oh, here's the key, listen. They fill buckets every day with the good things they do and the kind words they say. Everyone has a bucket that's invisible to the eye. That means you can't see it. So you have a bucket, I have a bucket, only you can't see it. And when your bucket is full, you feel happy. But when your bucket is empty, you might cry. The key to being happy is in the choices you make. Will you fill a bucket or be mean and dip and take? Let's see. Bucket filling is easy, as easy as can be. You can fill a bucket all the way from A to Z. Here are some ideas for things that you can do to make others happy and fill your bucket too. Hey, I don't think they're talking about real buckets, do you? Hmm. Let's see what it means to fill someone's bucket. A is for ask. Ask if you can give some help to your teacher mom or dad. You will be so very proud and they will be so glad. Oh look, do you see she's, there's things falling into her bucket and look there's things going into, both of them are having their bucket filled because she asked if she could help. B is for B. Be a bucket filler to your sisters and your brothers, your classmates and your teachers, your neighbors and all others. C is for cheer. Cheer up a friend who's feeling sad or someone with a frown. You can tell a funny joke or dress up like a clown. D is for donate. Donate means to give away some clothing, food or toys. Giving to a special group helps other girls and boys. E is for excited, excited to fill buckets. You're a bucket filling star, day and night and always, no matter where you are. F is for friends. Friends will keep your bucket full, have fun or just hang out. To have a friend, be a friend, that's without a doubt. G is for give. Give someone a big, bright smile or a little of your time. These are very welcome gifts that won't cost you a dime. H is for heroes. Heroes look out for, for others. They are, shining, they are a shining light. They use their words to speak up when something isn't right. See here, he's getting ready to be a dipper He's going to do something that's not very kind. He's going to pour water on her while she's sleeping. See his bucket dipping? So not only will it make her sad, but it's going to make him sad too because when we make choices that are not kind, it doesn't just make someone else feel bad. We feel bad too. And here's our hero telling him, oh, no, no, don't do that. I is for invite. Invite someone who's new to join in all the fun. 
Their bucket will be filled because of what you've done. I hope you are kind and invite others to join you. J is for joyful. Joyful is the feeling your grandma gives to you when you give her a hug. She's hugging you back too. Oh, can you see the love in that picture? K is for kindness. Kindness leads to happiness. It will brighten up your day. The thoughtful things you say and do will chase the blues away. What do they mean, the blues? Are they talking about the color? No, they're talking about sad. When you feel sad, we sometimes say that you're feeling blue. And when, when you say kind things, then that helps others to feel good. See, he's sad here. And look, she's being kind and helping him. His snowman fell and she's helping him rebuild it. That's kind, isn't it? L is for listen. Listen with your eyes. What? Listen with your eyes and ears when other people talk while sitting in a classroom or going for a walk, right? When we listen, that means we look at the speaker and we listen with our ears and that shows respect and kindness. M is for make. Make a bucket filling card, write a get well letter, send it to a friend who's sick, they will feel much better. N is for notice. Notice all the helpful things that other people do. Tell them that they filled your bucket and add a big thank you. O is for offer. Offer your amazing help when grandpa has a need with your extra pair of hands, he'll be done in twice the speed. P is for practice. Practice is required for any skill you know. Fill a bucket every day and you'll become a pro. Practice filling buckets. Q is for quit. Quit any bucket dipping. It's very mean to do. Bucket dipping always hurts and it dips your bucket too. R is for respect. Respect is owed to everyone. It starts when you're polite, using good manners and treating others right. S is for smile. Smile and see what happens. Does a smile come back to you? When you fill a bucket, you're, you are really filling too. So what's so special about showing people respect and smiling? What do you think? It shows kindness, doesn't it? And you fill your bucket and you're also filling their bucket at the same time. It's like magic. T is for tell. Tell your family that you love them with feelings that are true. Nothing fills a bucket more than hearing, I love you. You is for use. Use kind words when you speak. It hurts when someone dips. Take the time to stop and think before you move your lips. Ooh, I kind of like that. That's one that we all need to practice. V is for volunteer. Volunteer to do some work, like tidy up your room. Do it without being asked, and don't forget the broom. W is for watch. Watch out for bucket dipping. It's time to use your lid. It will protect your bucket from any bucket dipping kid. Oh my. X is for extra special. Extra special is the word for a bucket filling friend. The happiness they bring to you just seems to never end. Y is for you. You are a bucket filler. I'm sure you could have guessed. You always keep your bucket filled when you do your very best. Z is for zero. Zero means nothing that you cannot work out. When you are kind to others, let's give that a great big shout. By now, you must have learned this truth. There will never be an end to how you can fill buckets and be a bucket filling friend. Be kind and be a bucket filler. Be careful not to dip. 
Use your lid to protect your bucket. Share these bucket filling tips. Wow! Today, we read this story about being a bucket filler, a celebration. So he's, the book said that it was the keys to happiness. What do you think are the most important ideas that the author shared with us in this story? What do you think? To do kind things, to speak kindly, to act kindly, because that just makes us feel good. Not only does it make the person we're being kind to feel good, it makes us feel good, right? Yes. So here I have our reading chart and it says details from the book about why bucket filling makes you happy. What are some things that make you feel happy that you heard about in the story that you might want to try? Can you think of anything? Let's see. You can ask to help someone. When you see somebody that needs help and you offer to help them, then you feel proud of yourself and good and they feel good because you cared enough to ask if you could help. That's a great idea. We also heard about donating, right? If we donate things that we don't need anymore to others that might not have as much as we have. That's always a great way to fill your bucket. That is fantastic. I think that's a good idea. I know one that I really love and that is invite a new friend. When you go back to school in the fall and you have new people in your class that maybe you don't know very well, you could be a bucket filler by asking them to join you. Hey, come play with me. Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that feel good if someone did that for you? So maybe you can do that for someone else. I love it. And if we are all practicing being bucket fillers, then our world and community will be such a happier place. Don't you think so? Yes, I do too. All right. Hey, Scooter, did you like that story? Yes? Oh, I know. He says s'mores fill his bucket. Crazy little squirrel. All right, I have a joke for you before we go to our craft so I can tell you. Are you ready? Oh, this is a good one. Where do most horses live? Where do most horses live? You don't know? In a neighborhood. Ha, 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 get it? Neighborhood. Isn't that good? Yeah, that's a good one. What do you, you thought it was okay? He's hard to please, this guy. All right, boys and girls, today we are going to go to our craft table and we are going to make compliment cards. Now, remember, a compliment is when you say something kind to someone else. And so we're going to say something kind on paper. So I'm going to come over here to our craft table and Scooter, you can sit right there so you can help. Today, we are going to make compliment cards. Now this is something that you can do at home. You can just get a little piece of paper, a card or a colored paper, and you're gonna write a compliment. Here's one I wrote earlier. Matt, you are so kind. And I'm gonna decorate it with stickers. You can do the same thing. How about Riley, you are a team player. And Randall, your smile makes me happy. These are all compliments. And so I'm going to decorate them with my stickers. And then I'm going to deliver them to the people that I wrote them to. That's what you can do to be a bucket filler today. Write out a few compliments. Maybe you want to compliment your sister or your brother. I bet that would shock them. So try to find someone to compliment today and do something kind to fill their bucket. Skinnamarink-a-dink-a-dink, skinnamarink-a-doo, I love you. 
I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening and underneath the moon. Oh! Skinner Marinka Dink a Dink, Skinner Marinka Do. I love you, you, and you, and you. Come back and see me tomorrow at Camp Read a Lot. We have some more stories and some more fun things to do. Bye bye.